What's going on guys? I hope you're all having a good day and welcome to my channel. My name is JP and today I'm going to be talking about my very first official comic series, Reapers. Now I've mentioned this series a few times in some of my previous videos, but now I'm going to be doing a quick overview of the synopsis, the setting, the characters, and much more about this series in the video today. In the background, I'll be working on one of the chapter covers from the first volume of Reapers, so you guys have something to look at while I go over the story. Now I'm not going to cover every single detail about the story in this video today, otherwise we'd be here forever and there would be no point in me even making the comic. It would just be a quick dive in to get you all invested into this new world that I'm creating. And there will be future videos about this series as well, so stay tuned for those if you're interested. But with all that said, let's jump straight into what exactly is Reapers. To give you a little history about this series, it was first created back in August of 2021. I published it online to webtoons because of a self-imposed challenge to write and draw a comic one-shot in a month. Now the original one-shot that I created was nowhere near what I had envisioned for the story originally, but since it was my first time working on a project like this, while still working a full-time job, I was being pulled in all directions trying to write the story, design the characters, and doing the actual drawing of the pages in just 31 days. However, despite all that, I was still able to deliver by the end of the month with a short story that ends with the readers looking forward to the possibility of more. I did get back some positive feedback from that one shot, but I never intend to continue the series. It was supposed to be a one and done, but the more people began asking me when the next chapter will release, I just decided to revisit the series and give it the attention and care that it deserved. And now the version of it today is a fully realized story, but with many changes to the original, but at the core it has stayed the same. And if you're interested in reading the original one shot, it is still up on webtoons and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But now here's a one paragraph summary of Reapers. After his presumed death seven years ago, Michael Blackwell chose to leave his old life as a reaper behind him. Now he lives a normal peaceful life as Logan Monroe with his new family in a small town known as Grim Hollow. But when trouble begins to rise in the streets of Grim Hollow, Logan has to face the demons of his past and confront the truth about who he really is back in his home of Iron Haven. But he can't do it alone. With the help of his family, former friends, and new allies, Logan sets out on a vengeful crusade to take down the powerful and mysterious criminal empire known as the High Council. They threaten Logan's family and the peace he's worked so hard to achieve. They rule the city of Iron Haven from behind the scenes using blackmail, bribery, intimidation, oppression, and murder to achieve their goals. To protect those who cannot protect themselves, and to prove himself to be more than the monster he was raised to be, Logan and his allies will once again don the title of Reapers to take down the council and its shadowy leader. So now that you know what the story is about, let's talk about the setting, characters, and what exactly is a Reaper. Reapers takes place in a fictional world inspired by the Victorian era with gothic and steampunk inspired elements. The majority of the story takes place in the city of Iron Haven, one of, if not the biggest and most popular city in the world, a place where people believe they can go to achieve their dreams and make their fortunes. For all my cyberpunk fans, think of it as an 18th century night city. The technology used in this world is steam powered and steam driven machines, vehicles and tools. Iron Haven is also an epicenter for worldwide trading and mining. That's how the city got its name and its notoriety. The High Council's most dangerous and secret weapons are the Reapers, a special elite team who they use for assassinations, experimentation, as well as using them as tacticians. Reapers have an advantage over the other criminals due to their ability to handle a chemical formula known as Sanguius Diorum, otherwise known as the Blood of the Gods which has in it a compound known as the Eden Gene, which I won't explain here, you'll have to read the story to learn more about that. But there are only ever 7 reapers at a time, and the only way a reaper is replaced is if a current reaper dies and they are able to find a suitable candidate that can survive the use of the SD serum. Now let's talk about what exactly is the High Council. The High Council is a secret but powerful criminal organization that rules the city of Iron Haven from the shadows. They are led by one man known as the High King. Two subordinates to the High King are known as the Imperial Knights who rule over the six pillars who each have their own crime family of subordinates. 
The six pillars each have authority over six of the seven boroughs of Iron Haven, the seventh being ruled by the Imperial Knights, and are known by the people by their monikers. First, there is the Collector, whose specialty is in human trafficking and moving illegal contraband. Then, there is the Dollmaker, who specializes in espionage and blackmail. There is also the Tinkerer, a warmonger and supplier of weapons for the organization. Then there is the Master, who specializes in the training of Reapers. Next is the Banker, who manages the finances for the organization's criminal empire. And finally, there is the Alchemist, specializing in drugs and research for the organization's secret weapons. Reapers will have, in essence, an ensemble cast, but there are some characters that take center stage over others. The first of which is the main character, Logan Moreau, who faces many challenges throughout the story and not just against the council, but also trying to answer some difficult questions about who he is and what he stands for, and coming to terms with his past and deciding what will his future be. The other characters with the main focus are Logan's closest friend, Leonora Fiore, his old flame, Diana Crawford, and his best friend, Victor Mariano. Each one of these characters will get their own videos in the future, talking about their personalities, some backstory and motivations that they have. So if you're interested in seeing that in the future, then do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you will know as soon as those videos come out. For this story, I had many inspirations for it. The main inspiration I drew from was my own personal life and experiences, and others came from stories and genres that I find the most interesting. I drew inspirations from movies, TV shows, video games, and books. Most notably, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Van Helsing, The Witcher, Assassin's Creed, Dracula, Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, just to name a few. So this story is going to have a lot of very heavy gothic horror slash supernatural influences and references throughout the story, even in some of the character designs, which makes this a lot of fun for me to play off these great stories and tropes and put my own unique spin on some. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed hearing about this story, and if you want to keep learning more and seeing the progression of it, then do subscribe to the channel and leave a like down below if you want to see more content like this, and I will see you all next time.